No, but but look, but I mean, he may not be happy, but he he's got the lean back, completely cool. relaxed. This is this is how I sit when I'm watching some NBA games. Just oh, especially so. Sports so many games. The the colors are soft. Last night he was on the black side of the. Look at Magnus, by the way. What would have been the irony points for H7, H6 here if oh, uh, Alexander Grishuk had wait. played H, H6? Look, look at Magnus's posture, guys. Take a look. He is not a happy camper. Not playing Alexander Grishuk three-time world blitz champion. But I don't even know what that's like. Or I'm scared silly playing that guy. But Magnus is just like, eh, whatever. Place your chest, lean back. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't care. That's typical madness. Uh, he's, he's looking relaxed, but obviously inside, he's looking and having lost a couple of games today. Contrast that with how Alex looks, and he looks deadly yeah. focused. He knows who he's playing against, and he knows this man has revenge on his mind. So, no way in the world he's going to kick back and relax in this game. He knows Magnus is. The most dangerous chess player on the planet. I was about to say. What do you think about the black hat? Where was that black team on the game gonna rest? Oh, so far it's all theory. Uh, crazy enough, I've uh, seen a couple of games, and it's it strikes me as like a super super double edged way of playing for black. Uh, but he's been getting away with it. And castles reinforces the threat of. We gotta stop that. We gotta we gotta move our ass on um, F3 so that we can beat F4 with uh, Bishop F2 or um, F4 directly, right? Or we could move our knight on F3, but uh, yeah, that those are the options. Which one? Which one do you prefer? Knight F3, F3, F4, I, or both? I don't know what the knight is doing really on D2. So I would go for knight f3, and in case of f4, I would take it. I'd leave my king in the center, and I'd play for uh, play along the g file. So knight f3 would be my choice yet, but I this has taken some time. Uh, he may be considering f3, f4 to drop his bishop back to f2. He did play f4, but I, I, I hear what you're saying now because our bishop on e3 is now a loose piece. Um, after Queen E7, he was forced to retreat his F2. E7, Bishop F2, and, well, is, uh, I, I, <laughs> some, some far-flung pieces on distant galaxies, I don't know what the Bishop is doing on A3, but I can imagine, uh, Bishop to D6, so that he could, again, I, I want to play F, Five F four is black, and in case of B three, I could take twice on F four. He took on F four right away. He played Bishop E two, and maybe this is one of the things you can play your knight F three because now okay, you need to control. You need to control when you play Bishop E two. You need to use the pawn on the side, and Magnus took it. Took it. Took a pawn with check. A beautiful center pawn with check. I, I guess he's not technically going to be up a pawn because black is going to take on D three, right? Yeah. The thing is, is where will this kid go? Yes, the is going to do. Uh, I, I would be a little bit unhappy about taking on g3 when the rook is still on h1. So I'd be uh, cautious, let's say. But now the question is, should I play bishop 6 But well, you've got to be mindful of the pawn on b7, as well as the simple tactic of taking on e6 and the move d5. Forking your queen and, and knight. So the next move for Alex is not straightforward. Never it is. It's just what should you be doing to deal with your pawn on b7, the rooks on b1, keeping the pressure there? And does he have to sacrifice with bishop d7 and then play rook to b8 and look for some play? I'm sure he's not going to be happy with having to do that, but it's hard to figure out what his very next move should be. Well, it's well, like he this thing. Like, 
and the fact that it's four o'clock, and I, I go, maybe it's gonna be for, 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 for a minute, which is a really deep bank and blip. Um, yeah, but in the event of C6, it's gonna be some place that we're just looking at, where's it going? Not, it's not going to be D4, or D5. So I'm thinking, right? D8 followed by C6 followed by Knight D6, and maybe you try to bring the Knight towards the F4 square. He has played Knight D8, it took him a while. How long did you say, Jen? A minute, two minutes? I think it's about a minute, yeah, which is uh, a so long time in Blitz. And he's now, Queen D2. Queen D2. Queen D2 hitting that F4 pawn and challenging you immediately. I would decide expect. what does he want to do. I would I would expect C6. Play. Uh, tickling the bishop. Bishop has to go back. Yeah. Bishop to D3. And now is the time for Knight D6. And Bringing, bringing, developing the pieces, the bishop on c8, the knight on d8, look for Lauren on the back, back leg. Uh, big time advantage from four horrible. minutes to a minute. I mean, it looks kind of horrible because I feel like white can play for like even, uh, I guess I only want to play d5, but you can't play c5 because I don't want to close the position. But uh, if Magnus says play is d5, and you can't play c5 because we're getting the knight on e6, and how after bishop takes it? I know that if the knight moves, bishop e4 could be devastating. So, uh, look in position. When you look at the coordination of white's pieces, uh, first of all, that's fantastic. All he needs is castles to be happy, but he's even holding that over black's head because he's preventing the capture on g3. But his centralized bishop, his great knight on f3, which means his guarding squares, his bishop d4 threat you mentioned, Jen, the rook on the b line, black's pieces can't move, bishop d7 is not playable. Because the B pawn hangs, this looks like he wait, wait, uh, waited, and now it's a disaster. And you play these funky openings, and he finally did take on G3. The problem is you actually have to play them quickly. And you might play a strange opening, guys, but, you know, sometimes you just can't find the following moves in a blitz game. And he's down to 20 seconds. He's down to 20 seconds, and Magnus, it's 4 plus. I don't think you can even find discrepancy like this in the blitz. F4 looks like a blunder. Uh, you no, know, I was expecting rook f6 not to take on g3, by the way. I was expecting rook f6 just to shore up the king side a little bit, you know. But he took on f6, isn't he? Or just allowing bishop d4 check? Well, that didn't happen, uh, but I'm sure oh. that also the pawn takes f4, bishop f4, bishop d3 instead was played. Uh, look at the pressure on that h pawn. Again, I think bishop d4 check is on white's agenda. Also, by the way, Bishop E4 starts to look really, really tempting. Um, Rook F7 play. Knight H4 is also interesting, but oh, Rook to B4. And guess who is swinging over to that king side? And Magnus again, just he, he hasn't moved from this posture once, leaning completely back in his chair and just dropping bombs on Grischuk right now. He's like Rook yeah, E4, 14. This is just absolutely horrifying. <laughs> uh, over, over, uh, Kim. And now we can play like, rook, can we play rook g1 check and queen g6? If you go back to h8 instead of going, we can play queen g6. Uh, we're trying to make you just on g8. I, I, I'm over. Uh, similar idea, Jen. Something like, you could like what you just say, you know, like bishop d4, queen g6, and you could just play. He's got three plus minutes to his opponent's five seconds, so he's taking his time to figure out what the winning configuration is here. I was looking at Queen G6 immediately as something oh, crazy, but it, just, but it doesn't look like it quite does the job uh, because the king prances up to F6 and no bishop check gets it done, but it looks so close. Something like this is floating in the air. It's like one of those things, you know, once you see it, you really want it to work, right? You want to, you, you, you want to learn the key boards. Come to me, uh, walk right into my arms. Something like this would be somehow a kind of an ideal, right? Where you could just like, ah, never mind. Uh, but Magnus okay. has played knight to d4 instead. And Grisha with just six seconds on his clock right now. He had five seconds before the last move to two seconds to make this move. Queen F6 with a three-second increment. Queen F6 on the board, hitting F2. Is that an important move? <laughs> I, I'm 
just looking at Rook H7 uh, is what I meant to, to suggest. That is it even important that you take this bishop? If it is, I can. Well, it might be awkward to defend it. I, I really wouldn't want to drop back with it with the bishop. Maybe just Queen F3. If I can't think of anything to do, Knight E6. Boring six. all of it. And then oh, Bishop D4 is landed, guys. That's yeah. Uh, that's gonna see all she wrote. There's no way you survive right. this position. No. Bishop E5 and Rook H6. And it's that's it. Fun. Bishop is dropping on E6. Magnus barely sat up out of his chair to win that game. Tremendous well, apparently blowout. Revenge, revenge of the dish. A best serve fast in this case as. Agnes um, won this game very quickly. We've got a lot of action left in the round.